It's not done like this or like that. Some people are doing it like that. Can you imagine what that does to our reputation of the school? It's like, how did it, they didn't sold out like that? Because so it ain't even about, get down. It's not the school, okay? So let's go back to having everybody go like this, okay? All right? Um, so then, of course, we do, we gotta do this, we gotta do this, the class sayings, okay? So we have gotta make the announcements, you know? You, you gotta make the announcements. Even if you guys at the gym can get like a little whiteboard or something, put that up with your announcements on it, you know? I mean, I know it might sound crazy, but ain't nothing wrong with the instructor said, all right, everybody, we got the announcements, and you walk, you gotta make class fun. So if you're going around first, can you see the announcements? All right, somebody, Kurt Burn, can you see that one? So what do you mean coming up right here? Because we got a wall, so the wall tells the story. You guys can have a little whiteboard, and you you know, it's for you, it's for the parents, because now you're saying it, they're seeing it, so you didn't already gave them like two reinforcements about the events. Now when you send them an email, how many times did we hit the membrane? Three. So we got to constantly keep communicating, and it, it doesn't have to be serious, you can make it fun. We got to make the announcements so people will be able to know what's going on, okay? All right, so now, after we didn't did all of that, then of course we go into the class quotes. What we have to remember, which everybody is missing, the class announcements are connected to the 10 mag book. And they're connected to the warrior's mindset book, okay? They are motivational and uh, 24, we call it 24-7 daily quotes that's based on the principles in the Complete Martial Artist book. So on, on Monday and Tuesday, we are always covering warrior's mindset principles that are based on spiritual. They're like those mystical sayings, but they're always based upon first thing we greet, we meet and greet the people. We should always know what their, what their form said. And you know, probably say confidence, whatever it may be. If they filled out three of them, you always ask them, well, which one, if you had to pick one of these out of the three, which one would be the most important? Okay, they tell you that, then everything that you do is based upon that one thing that the parent said they want to they want to focus on first. And then you go to the second and third. That but that'll be by that by the time they're in school it's gonna be more. They ain't, they ain't gonna be worried about that second and third one anymore. But the main one is the first one, okay? So now what you wanna do. We always bring the parent in, get the parent to have a seat. Even though we don't let people watch class, because when you teach the kid, you teach the parent. You ain't really teach the kid, you teach the parent. Okay? So more of your interaction is kind of like being done with the parent. So it's like, everybody ready to go? Yes, sir. You got to respond back by saying, yes, sir. We ready to go? Yes, sir. What do you think, mommy and daddy? Should they be saying, yes, sir? Yes. Mommy, should they say, yes, sir? All right, so the mom, now you got, you're engaging them. Now the mom, they feel a part of what's going on. All right, so what we, um, got to go up the sheet. Here. Okay, what we want to do, first of all, we want to introduce you to the basic stances that we do in a martial arts class. In a martial arts class, you can never stand like this. You can never stand like this. You can never stand like this. You can never do this. There's only three positions that you can do because it demonstrates positive body language. Mommy, is body, positive body language important? Yes, sir. Okay. Mommy said positive body language is important. So now you realize that me and Mommy are on the same page. I'm just here to reinforce what she want, to, want for you, and that's the best for you. Right, Mommy? Yes, sir. All right, so everybody, what we want to do, let's put our hands up. Spread out, get some room. Fingertips to fingertips. That's how you would line up in the martial arts class. There we go. Real good, real good. All right. So what we have, we have our Eddie's position. Right hand inside. That's how you should stand whenever the instructor's talking to you. You don't want to move, you want to make eye contact. Even if a fly line lands in your head, you cannot scratch it. Eye contact, listen to the instructor, let your eyeballs follow. Okay, so once we go from at ease, we go, we step in with your right foot. You step in and you go, Ebe. And then step back out, say at ease. At ease. Step back in, say Ebe. Step back out, say at ease. Ease. Step back in, say Ebay. Step back out, say at ease. At ease. All right. Now, everybody relax because this is a, a lesson to you. Y'all be teaching that, and sometimes y'all be having to step out with the left, and y'all have to step out with the right. The reason why Master Brown said you cannot have them step out with the right and step into the left. About 30 minutes, about 15 minutes in the class, look where the student gonna be. 
They're going to be bumping into each other. So if you wonder why the kids are getting crowded in and, and they're losing their position, because they're stepping back in with the wrong foot. Step in with, uh, step out with the right, step in with the right. And you got to teach the hand motions like I'm showing you, because look what it is. It's a kata. It makes it easy to remember. If you throw it off any kind of way by teaching a different way, it destroys the muscle memory. Now the kid don't get it. It makes it harder for them to remember it. So we're back here. At ease. You bet it. Cross right over left. Like an X. Right over left. Some people got them going left over right. Right over left. Now roll your fingers in. Smack like you smack in the eyes. Pop. Make a fist and pull back. You got to make sure the fists are right here to your side. Because guess what? If you stay there long enough, it's going to strengthen your shoulders. Okay? So let's go back. Eight. Eight. Say you bet. You bet. You sunk. You sunk. All right. And eight. Eight. Say you bet. You bet. Knees sunk. Knees sunk. Eight. Eight. All right. So we didn't show mommy. Mommy, got, got any questions, mommy? No. Can I? Yes. Up? That's not how you teach it to a kung fu kid. Because if you tell them to smack the eyes, they're going to go home and try to keep smacking stuff. So you have to say open now that you open, uh, what is it? And when you say uh, knee song, hands out, flip them over, make a tight fist, pull back. Eventually they start doing it, but you can't teach them that at first. You'll be there all day. It'll be all kinds of wrong. So when you're teaching it, Ibe, knee song, and they say hands out, flip them up, make a tight fist, pull back, say ma'am or sir. That's how you break it down for Kung Fu. And that's why I need to come to Kung Fu because we do have one for Kung Fu because that's what we used to do. We got one for this, we got one for Kung Fu too. But the problem is that nobody's doing it. I see everybody doing the different hands all over the place. Like Master Brown said, it got to be consistent. So what's happening is that we're creating a lot of garbage with our students, so the students are all confused. So there's no consistency. What we're trying to do is establish consistency. Because I know when I tell, tell you how to put people in class, Everybody probably, you know, I don't know what to teach. We always know what to teach. So I need to get you back to knowing what to teach in that class. There's not a lot. And so it's easy. And then in that 15 minutes or some of the time for them to go, they walk away feeling like they learned something. And when they come back, you're testing them on that, even though everybody else is doing a lot of other stuff. Okay? We know the system worked. We created it. Master Brown did it. I did it. So I want to get back to making it work so it can result into having more students sign up for the school. I want to ask a question that they're probably not thinking about asking, but this is an important question while we're in your position. How do you handle if you have 20 people in class already and the class agenda says do Zhu Chi Chuan, but then you have a new person coming in? So you take your more senior student and tell them to go over there and work with the intro. And you like you lead them. We already do it right now. That's why I tell you, if I bring if 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 we have a class, I say Cameron, come up, stand up in front, Cameron. Can't relieve everybody, so I'm free to be able to do whatever. That's why you keep teaching in class with your senior person. So even if I have to walk off, he already know what to do because he's he's doing it, and I can walk it out. Oh, Cameron, go to the next thing. So Cameron would go with the current students he, and not the intro. He can go with the intro, or he can go with the current students because it's a flow. It's a flow. It, but right now, to, for your own sake, you can do whatever. The, eventually, you gonna learn how to adapt to it. First, you gotta get the foundation, which y'all don't have right now. Once you get it going, it's going to work automatic. The main key is that nobody is leading, is building leaders in the class to be able to take over for you. So you're always caught. You feel like you can't go. Am I making sense? Yes, so remember to build. That's why that person on the left side is your senior. And then when that person steps out, that person steps out, and I say, all right, split the class up. You take that person. You take this, you take this group over here. You take this group over here, all right? And you with that group. Now guess what? I can go over there and do what I need to do. And then I can and I can still be able to search and watch what's going on. Because you guys have been trained for that. You're not hitting them by surprise. But when you hit them by surprise, then we have a major problem. Make sense? OK, so all right, let's come back. All right, so now let me see that eBay, because this is really important. Because guess what? You can do eBay at Easy Song and all of that. You can say, all right, eBay. Give me a word. You bet. Eight. Give me three jumping jacks. 